Hey guys, it is Jacob once again, and today I'm here to present to you my LEGO Star Wars ARC-170 Starfighter. Now some people like to just say ARC-170 Starfighter, but it's pretty much the same thing, but everybody has their own way of saying it, which is great. It's everybody's, it's free to be able to say, call it how you would like to call it, so... I'm oh I'm okay with either one so no offense in any way. All right, let, let's just get the rest of the review. Sorry. Um, here um, are some very unique features about this. Now, if some of you are wondering, uh, is some of you are asking, all right, is this the older one or the newer one, or some of you knew right off? Um, this is the older one, as you can tell, because uh, they changed the design of the front in the newer one. But the original one I like because it's unique in its own way. Um, this set came with a very special piece like unique for this ship alone. Pieces here and uh, these pieces here and uh, back here as well. Uh, I'm so glad they decided not to have stickers. I mean Stickers can be quite annoying, so that's pretty much. Yeah, you know, I hate it when they just start peeling off, and then you can't, you don't have a replacement. So sometimes that's the case. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you probably um, are wondering if this is the uh, surprise uh, Lego set that I'm presenting after my Tri Fighter video. Yes, this is. And some of you are like, "Well, why'd you?" pick this as the rival ship. Well, quite simply, with this, as you can see, the targeting scopes are tri-fighter. And not just on the one in the front, also the one on the front. So, like, I know that's uh, like a very kind of like minor thing, but for the longest time when I had this, this set, I had a problem. I was never able to get the original Tri-Fighter. I had to get the newer one, which I had no idea we were going to get the newer one until it came out. So, it's kind of a kind of sad when you actually have a really cool Starfighter and the targeting scopes are going to be shooting down ships that you don't have. So that you, the enemy ships you don't have. So kind of like a little bit of a letdown. So you're like, "Oh man, you can't make it accurate that way. Now it will be accurate, now that I have a Tri-Fighter. Uh, so, it's kind of a nice feature to be able to, be able to do that now. Um, here I have the uh, back laser cannon, of course. Um, and technically, the ARC-170 is supposed to have two of them, but when they designed it, they added this, which is supposed to open up the wings, and um, also if you pull it, um, little bombs come out as well, which is another feature they changed in the newer one. The newer one, instead of having the little bomb load, they turned it into torpedo launchers, which, the not the very uh, cool ones, but you, you, uh, you know, you just pull back the lever and then it shoots out a big missile. It's I think it, it was more of the one they just push the back in and the little spring things come out, so, or, and the like. So, um, yeah, I really am so happy I did get this. Now, technically, I'm supposed to have two of them, because my grandparents bought me two of them. They bought me this one, then I built it, and I had it for a while. I think they got it for me for my birthday, I think. But then when Christmas came around, they got me another one. Now, instead of uh, keeping it, they gave me the receipt because they even realized that they gave me it. And I would have loved to have a second one. But um, the thing was, my brother also got one. And there were lots of other clone sets of the Revenge of the Sith that I did not get yet. And I'll present those to you eventually. I haven't shown them, showed them yet. But I'll let you know that they were... Uh, the ones that I traded in for, and you probably would understand why I did it. 
So anyway, let me uh, try to do this. It's really hard to do this with one hand, um, especially with uh, a big starfighter like this, that the wings can open. All right. Yeah, I'm doing this on the table because it's actually very difficult to do this with the little stand I've had before. I don't think it wants to spin today. Okay, guys, here we are. <laughs> so, it took me a while to actually get it open. Um, like, the older it gets, the more stubborn it wants to be. So, like, literally when I spin it, when I first had it, it would actually open easily. But the older it gets, what happens is um, the things inside that help it open kind of like to stay stiff. So, all you have to do is just lift up one of the wings a little bit, and then they'll just pop right open. So, works out. Now I'm not gonna do the bomb dropping because I might. I don't want to have to look for the pieces. I mean, it's a very simple thing. All you do is just pull on the thing, and the bombs would come out when that yellow thing goes back. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this set. It's a really cool one, and one of the largest starfighters I have. It might be the largest starfighter I have. Like, due to its length and everything. But I'm very pleased with it. I kind of wish I did have a second one, but, you know, it's, otherwise I would not have, but the problem is I would not have had the other cool things so I will show you in the future. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, if you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And um, how about we do a little uh, questionnaire today, so, or a little question? Um, what would you say is your favorite uh, starfighter in the entire Star Wars universe? And if you can't really make up your mind, which sometimes is my case, like you could probably say, what's your favorite Clone Wars era starfighter? What's your favorite uh, Galactic Civil War period? Or if you have even more struggle after that, um, tell me of which army you like. Like, for me personally, I have to say my favorite starfighter of the clones is probably the ARC-170. Of course, the only downfall was um, if it got shot down, you lost three pilots. So, that was a bit of a downfall. The reason why I liked it is because it resembles the X-Wing which was my favorite childhood um, starfighter of the Rebel Alliance. So those are my answers for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I shall see you guys next time.